Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Epic War Zaga Relaunch in 2K18. So in the last video we were, we were actually going through mission 1 several times. I just finished this one off to 300%. So I'm gonna get a maximum amount of 8 XP and 80 gold per run. So and also I can check back for daily missions. So I'm gonna claim my reward of 50 gold. Uh, currently I'm level 5 as you can see when I would take this EXP reward I would get 250 and I probably it's not worth it to since I just would lose a, a good amount of EXP so probably I just keep that one on and uh, yeah wait until I do several other things like for example when I would sell five gold uh, items here and uh, buy 10 items here and there I probably wait for other levels to become complete or at least uh, ending or finishing up a level five here so I get like 150 or 100 probably here and do not overdo it because 250 can probably give you a level between level 15 and 16 or something around that i'm not sure about 100 of these numbers however i gotta keep them as well as for the weekly ones i'm gonna claim the rewards with the gold at first like this so i can probably optimize some things here and there also what you can see there's a special one a uh, special mission here which wants me to spawn thousand led dwarfs um, in a mission or in several missions, so it's going to count up. So every time you spit out some, as you can see in the formation, you're gonna every time Elite Dwarf will be uh, 18 times. So you have to probably, yeah, yeah, you have to spawn a lot of them to get this mission done. So it's a weekly mission, so you have a good amount of time in between, anyways. Okay, let's go back to the rewards. I'm currently veteran because I won 20 battles in total. I'm gonna get a guidebook as well as five crystals and. 5,000 gold, so I just take them. Thanks a lot. There's also another reward available. So this is new B for mastering the first mission. As you can see, we're gonna earn instantly 10,000 gold, 10 uh, crystals, and the lightsaber. That. So we're gonna take all of these. Thanks a lot. Also, we can go to our profile and add another five points, or we're gonna yeah save them up. I don't know. I just keep them for the moment since. Later on you might not have enough energy, gonna talk about the skill points in a bit anyways. Uh, so I keep them until I have like 10 or 15, so I can always put in 10 at the same time. Uh, to, yeah, to yeah, save some clicks I would say. However, with our gold in here we can actually start to upgrade things in our village already or gonna go and buy some items. So this is up to us, we can yeah, actually go through and check what we can do with all that gold so there are several possibilities we have we can with that gold go buy or actually upgrade one of these temples and gonna get new uh yeah units i would say for example we can go to the wine temple and add up or go to level three i guess and get the walk riders already to probably speed things up in the first three yeah missions in here but on the other hand we may not end up with enough gold except we're gonna get some good amount in between from rewards since the level itself are not going to give us as much as we probably need to uh, get the walk riders we also can check back there are a lot of and a ton of uh, different uh, yeah creatures we can get we can also go to the market and level this one up as well and so since we also have some of these weekly quests like selling and buying things around we probably want to go and uh, yeah, upgrade the market uh, to get some cool weapons or actually useful weapons in my case or in this case But they're gonna cost a lot as well as the upgrade costs are not going to be that small Since we want to have some new weapons in the later part We're gonna probably need to invest 15,000 gold just to get it to level 3 I guess to buy some cool items which are also uh, Yeah, where we also need 6,000 yeah coins so we have two Two possibilities once again we can get uh, some water units which are rather quick and advancing as well as doing some decent damage as well as this wind units which we are not able to use in level 4 so probably the best choice is going to the water temple first and get these uh, guys at first so currently as you can see with level 2 we would unlock these guys and these guys but we don't want to so 
Uh, we don't need these two guys. Well, at least not for the moment. Probably later on they're going to be interesting for us. But when we upgrade this one once, going to cost me 6,000. You can see the next level is going to get, take 15,000 upgrade costs. And that's a decent amount of money. So we at first need 3,000 more. But also, when we reach that level, we're gonna unlock these guys here, which are the Valkyries. Those are pretty quick in advancing, and they have a good, a good stats. So we can make use of them and their power to, uh, yeah, damage fire units a lot as well as going forward quick. So in total, we need to save up now 15,000 plus 4, so 19,000 in, in total, which means all of uh, this money we're gonna go and, yes, yeah, store for the moment until we are able to unlock this Valkyries. Once again, these profile thingies here, when this is blinking around here, whatever, then we're gonna be able to, ah, uh, yeah, put some points into the stats. Once again, I don't, uh, yeah, take about, or take care of that at the moment. So what we want to do in this part except just talking about the stuff we want to clear mission 2 and since we are not quicker than before uh, we can uh, for the moment just equip some items like the exp book we got as well as the saber uh, to do some a bit more uh, damage in here the downside is we're gonna um uh, actually, there's no not big downside. We get some extra EXP with that book. And we get some uh, defense and attack and HP for, from this lightsaber. Uh, we could go to the market and spend some coins on to other swords as well. But, well, we don't. Since, well, I need that 19,000 for my next unit I want to buy or I'm aiming for. Okay, so once again, we can claim these EXP rewards or we're gonna wait a bit until it makes sense or more sense for them to become active. So that we have a lot, not a, uh, yeah, enough time. As you can see for the dailies, we have like nine hours left to complete them all and we are already on number three. Okay, so let's go into it and pretty quickly do whatever we need to. So this is the same guy. The units have been changed a bit. Nothing fancy. As you can see, in this time, they are water, then uh, thunder, and of course, earth once again. We're gonna drive the same strategy. We're, we're gonna take out this, uh, yeah, this elf rangers a lot as much as we can. We wait until Gulbrog Gruelborg is going to advance to us and our yeah archers are going to do decent damage now since we have equipped that uh, that yeah that lightsaber so because of that lightsaber we are doing now decent damage we also have the possibility since I already went level 5 to use raging here which is strengthening that amount of damage all these units are going to do here so as you can see even that low amount of units of my archers and your rangers are going to do a decent amount of damage already so he is not even yeah able to go back to the half of the screen and we save up to yeah 10 seconds in total or on this clock since we are playing on double time don't get confused with the time in here it's running faster than usual because once again double speed and yeah once again we can uh, rather rather quickly go through this little mission and here it's once again about the same we just wait for him and our rangers are going to do the rest we can help once again with the raging skills, so he is not even able to head back. And we don't care about this little minions in here. Once again, per round, we're gonna get like 100 gold in the first star area and some decent amount of EXP as well as gold. And when I'm casting this special attack, I always fill a bit into the main bar in the bottom. That means it, and even if I don't hit anything, it makes a lot of sense to cast uh, the spells here on the arm, um, on the units, or in this case, on the hero. So as you can see, he's taken a good amount of damage. He's not even able to get back. And once again, I don't care about the little goblins over there since they do, do literally no damage since I am Earth. And Earth is strong against, yeah, against these little guys here, yeah, against Thunder. So we don't care about this and just keep on going. 
And that's what you need to do as well. So you need to once again repeat like every mission. Yeah, 30 times as this one as well. We should have like 10 already uh, or at least 5. So we get a next star. So when we play again, you can see now I will get more EXP. And these unrounded numbers are here because of uh, our guidebook. It's going to give us a small EXP boost. So plus S means small. There's also plus M and plus L. I'm not sure if there are more or new items with X with XL inside. So anyway, for the next round, we're going to get 120 gold, which is nice since we need like 9000 and currently we are at 12,700. So it's going to take a while until we get to this point. However, once again, we want to make sure that we master this mission. I'm going to do this last round once again with you together and going to farm the rest offline. Um, without yeah filming it because it's rather boring and you have to do it as well on your own and in the next video I'm going to be back with uh, next mission of course with mission 3 so we can go advance more and more and of course get our new strong items and our new strong units as we need them so once again thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions of course feel free to ask in the comments below as well don't forget to sum this video up if you like to bye bye